Zoological Park where over at least 500 years ago, people would gather here, Native Americans would gather here and celebrate um, the changing of seasons and other ceremonies. We're about to walk into the gateway, which is um, one degree of aligning with the solstice sunrise every year. So this is where they would come into this place and I'm sure several different colonies or tribes of Indians would gather here and celebrate season changes. I'll turn you around and show you what it looks like. Here's the gateway. Little road going in. See the mound on this side? I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of mounds up a little bit on both sides. And if you're coming into this, the um, sunrise is in it. That's really cool. That's a cool tree. Uh, 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 come here. <laughs> uh, uh, off. Sorry. Scout having to head everybody. So here's their gathering field that they would all probably set up camp along there. And around in that field. And then the Duck River runs around the parameter of this field like that right there. There was plenty of hunting and fishing around while they were here. So this kind of cracks me up a little bit, my setup with Scout. I've got him hooked to this and he's just over my shoulder like a purse. It's really easy to control him that way. And he doesn't seem to mind it at all. And I feel like he's learning how to walk closer by my side now. <laughs> exactly where he needs to be. So anyway, uh, let me flip you around so you can see more of this trail. but it's not real hot. It's like 79 degrees outside. So it's actually good weather. We're gonna stop here in just a few minutes and get him some water since I know all that water is making him crazy to have to listen to. Come on. Big. 
can't even see the top of it. It's way up there. Oh. skip it and go this way. It's a nice little section of the trail anyway. It's out of the sun. It's kind of rocky, but I'm all outside. So what do you expect? Scout's excited. Aren't you, Scout? Aren't you, buddy? Yeah? Are you happy? Are you happy? Scout? Yeah, he's happy. <laughs> he's having a good old time up here. I like the way he's done. So we got to this point, the patterns in mound wall construction, talking about the highest wall segment. And I'm gonna turn you around here so you can see this it's a dirt mound basically, but you can really tell it here. So let me turn you around. So you can tell how it raises up here quite a bit. And you'll be able to see it better. There, see how you can really tell how high it is here? That kind of cuts. I'm not sure what the point of it like cutting off on one side and taking back up on the other. But it's got cut. But you can really tell the mound of this old stone wall it's stone underneath there apparently and dirt covered I guess so I get it down, maybe. I'm sure there was a reason they built it like that but it's pretty cool anyway give you an idea of how huge these stones are that made this paper mill or whatever this was that I'm standing in here. It's humongous. Unfortunately, it's about falling down to nothing. But, come here, Scout. I'm gonna put him next to this one that fell. Look at this. How big that stone is that fell off the wall next to him. It's humongous. But I guess this was some kind of paper mill that they used to use the water from the Duck River to um, to um, mill the paper. Support structure for underneath the rock since it was probably on 
not too steady of ground, maybe. There's these big <clears throat> beans going down into the ground, too. Probably holding the floor up. But they were set down into these bricks. big but that's what it looks like from the top view falling down and trees growing up through it now and I can just imagine what it looked like back in the day. Alright we're gonna continue on really pulled me along the way. <laughs> Doing a few swaps. And we're back up on the trail. Come. Come. We heard some dogs a while ago that I thought we were going to encounter. But we never did see them. They must have been on the other side of the river or something. I'm sure we're making a good rock or Got Scott excited. This guy was riding on it. So we're just going to finish making a little out of this place. And... Oh, right, here's the dam. I guess that's where it is. I guess we can go a little closer to it. Stay tuned. 